All right guys, so I finally started working on my uh, X-Max. So let me show you what uh, what I've got done here so far. Kind of go over what I might uh, put in the truck, some of the thoughts and ideas. All right, so there she is. And take the body off here. Still new to all this stuff here, guys, so it takes me a minute. Set the body to the side. Show you what I've got done so far. Um, I'm waiting on, I think they call it a cush drive or whatever. Um, I did put the rear and front differential in with the I just went with the regular uh, drive shaft. I know there's a two-piece setup you could buy. It's supposed to flex better, blah, blah, blah. I'm not uh, trying to do every single upgrade. Um, I'm gonna try some, try a mix of stuff here. So what I'm gonna do is some of the things that I want to try are gonna be more um, your normal stock stuff. And then beyond that, I'm going to uh, try a few selective upgrades here and there, like the differentials. Those are, I believe those are stock. I believe they're the HD, um, HD ones or whatever. Uh, I don't know if they're the older ones or the newer ones because these cups here, I think on one of them, um, the cups don't have the slit all the way out. It's got like a thing on the end. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never had an X-Max before, so this is all new. But uh, here's what I'm going to be putting on here. I have uh, a set of tires that are... Um, the Traxxas 8S um, X-Max Belted. Um, had a lot of people say these are really good. Some people say they're really bad. We're going to try them out. They're about the best thing that's going to fit on a truck. Unless you want type of tire like that, 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 or that. So I'm mean, going to kind of like these. Uh, the only ones I even like that are kind of close to those would be my six packs down there on the 5T and I don't really want to spend 150 bucks on another set of tires these were less than hundred dollars for a whole set so I'll try them out um, I had these shocks laying around they're longer than the typical um, X-Max shocks by about an inch and I think these are 200 and 15 or I forget what the measurement is. It's like eight and a half inches or whatever um, Lengthwise and the normal ones are like almost seven and a half or whatever. So it's like an inch difference. I'm gonna try them out Just got your typical parts here um, This would be skid plate uh, There's a bumper uh, This I bought on eBay. It's just like odds and end pieces with screws and stuff like that um this here is the center skid plate, you know, for underneath. Um, another bumper, I think this is the front and then that was yeah, front and rear. Um, here's odds and end pieces again. This has like all my hubs and stuff like that in there. I know it's got like battery tray stuff, but I, I don't really need that since I've already got it. Um, bought a set of plastic arms that are 8S. Again, eBay. I'm a big fan of, you know, using plastic anyway, so I figured that was a good fit. I got a couple of things that I'm going to call upgrades. Um, these are the um, uh, suspension posts, the 49 millimeters, and these are the threaded hinge posts. Uh, I'm going to see which ones I want to use. I think they're the same thing. There's, there's four of them in there. Yeah, this is for the whole set of arms. And this is just for like the bottoms or whatever. So I'll probably end up just using those. I don't know. We'll kind of take a peek at it. Here's my um, axles or whatever. Uh, these are pretty cool. Uh, they're, they're not as beefy as I thought they should be. But um, they'll, they'll work for now. We'll try them out. See what kind of uh, power we get put in there. And what kind of uh, 
output that we get out of it maybe we'll upgrade later so that's kind of where we're at now I'm gonna start uh, just basically getting things on next thing is probably gonna be like the arms and shocks and stuff and I'm still waiting on a I don't know if I need a mount or something for the motor here again I haven't had one of these guys so I don't know um, I'm looking at all those pin locations and stuff and I have no idea what to buy there um, so I'm looking for that piece there for sure uh, I'm gonna be putting that max 6 in it over there that combo which is a uh, 160 amp and it's an 1100 kV motor I think it's gonna be plenty for this guy here so I think that setups the one I want to use on here I think that'll give it a nice uh, a nice feel I really do a lot of guys when they thrash and, and uh, play around with these things here they're pretty rough uh, I don't plan on being extremely gentle but you know just like with anything else I'm not incredibly rough either so yeah I'm gonna get a couple more things back on here and then uh, we'll kind of go over what I had done and basically went on some parts I do have my arm of Mojave's down there as well uh, we haven't even got started on that yet either I'm still buying parts for it what I'm doing is just buying little pieces here and there um, you know I'm gonna kind of either build it from scratch you know with some stock parts and select uh, upgrades or I might just upgrade certain parts that I think it needs right away so it's kind of what I'm doing now X Max is uh, pretty durable uh, with all of its plastic pieces so that's why I'm kind of sticking more to plastic on this one all right guys so that's probably gonna be about it for what I can do today um, I'm still waiting on the hinge pieces um, the cush drive and a couple other things I still have to obviously buy that whatever that is um, then I can start putting uh, some of the stuff together here um, but just to give you a little quick recap uh, these shocks used to come off of I think they came off of my old Baja or Red Cat or something like that they did fine I have no idea what kind of weights in them um, maybe we'll check that out maybe we won't um, I also have to get new eyelets so that's another thing I have to do as well and these are kind of when I think about it I believe they're only for the outside portion so I'm um, waiting on the inners here uh, that lock up let me show you what I'm talking about so this is obviously the wrong one for that side or I mean, it might be the right one I don't know there's a long rod that goes through there and then at the end here you see like a set screw I think it's yes yeah, so it got one on each side that would lock the pin in place I don't have those pins yet uh, once I get those in I can actually start uh, putting the arms and stuff on there and then try to button up some of the other stuff I do have skids and stuff for the bottom here uh, but I can't really go putting any of that stuff on without the arms yet so I'm kind of waiting um, basically for those pieces so once I get those in, we'll get a little more done on it. Um, but yeah, man, if anybody's built a um, X Max or even if they've had one and just upgraded it, um, what's some good parts for this thing here, man? I'm a huge fan of plastic. Um, I like the flex and stuff that it gives. I like the versatility, the availability of the parts, a lot of different things. So um, just kind of looking to see what everybody's thoughts are and uh, what do you think about uh this X Max here, I think it's going to be a, a beast there on uh, on that Max Six with 1100 kV. I think it's going to going to give it a nice run. Um, I think I'm going to use a 36 tooth. Hold on a minute. Let me look at my notes here because I wrote them down what I wanted. So there's two different options here. Um, this is the slower, or I'm sorry, the faster gearing 40 and 50. So 40 pinion, uh, 50 spur. I think the one that I want is 36 and 46 because I don't know how everything's going to operate. Now, the set that I bought comes with both the 46 and the 50. So, only thing I really have to worry about is getting the uh, spur gears, or I'm sorry, the pinion gears, which I bought at 36. Um, the 40 I have not bought yet, but we'll get to that if we feel like we need it. So, yeah, just uh, moving right along here. And uh, like I said, I got tons of. Uh, builds and things that I want to do this this winter I'm kind of running out of time now um, but I wanted to get started on the X-Max here I don't know when it's going to be finished 
Um, but yeah, I'm always looking for advice. Um, anybody has one, what have we done? What's good to do to them? Um, what do you think of them? So, uh, just stay tuned guys. I'm going to be going through it and, uh, trying to be getting the best in my opinion of both worlds. So appreciate everybody watching and I'll see you on the next one.